And if we, everybody's profi reading proficiency is higher, then we can go to some more advanced stories a little later. But enough of that. Uh, let me just go around the room and see how everybody is. Uh, Maxime, uh, let me just see if I say your name right. Maxi yes. Mundiano? Yes, Maxi. Uh, call me Maxi. All right, Maxi. <laughs> how are you? I'm hey, fine. I am the, the same Maxi always. <laughs> All right, Maxi. Yes, um, other picture. <laughs> okay, yes, yes. <laughs> So how how was your weekend? Uh, I fine. Um, my weekend um, it was uh, fun. Uh, uh, Friday at night uh, I was uh, a, a birthday. A friend there. Okay, good. Well, uh, you didn't have to take a test this weekend. No. Good for you, yeah. Adolfo did. He took a very important test. Yeah. Yeah. Let's call it a name. Yeah. Did someone here did this t took this test too? A name? I don't think so. No, you're the only one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brazil is I've, a big I've country. I've been watching some classes that there were a lot of people who took this test too, so... Yeah. I'm the only one here. Uh, and you're not the only person from Brazil, but I imagine that Brazil being a large country, I think, what is the population? About 100, 125 million? Uh, probably, probably. Yeah, yeah. 200. You guys are big. You're much bigger than us. <laughs> Better climate, too, except for in the summer. It's very hot. But Luis, welcome. I haven't seen you in a few days. Yes. Hi, Simon. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Uh, did you have a good weekend? Yes, very, very good. Good, good. Uh, today's interesting. Um, it's going to be a beginner class, but I, what I want to focus on is I haven't done a lot of reading classes, Luis. So what I want to focus on here today is making sure that everybody can read, but also read or speak the words correctly as well. So if you have any trouble with any words or anybody have any trouble with some of the words when we get to the lesson, then uh, just take your time, try to pronounce it out, and I can help you out. And um, I might ask you a few questions, but the main thing is that you're able to read and understand or pronounce the words. So, and of course, Luis, besides you, is George. George, how are you, sir? Hi, Simon. I'm uh, great. What about you? I'm good. I had a busy weekend. I was in Niagara Falls this weekend. Yeah, I... Um... I imagine that it was pretty good. It, it was. We got to see a magic show, which was really, really interesting. So that was very exciting. And what I might do after my second class, George, is I'll post um, a photo I took, a black and white photo of Niagara Falls. I'll put that in Google+. Plus. So I will put a photo of Niagara Falls. Google Plus, so you guys can see that later. Uh, stunning, stunning look of the falls. All right, uh, uh, may I call you Dan? <laughs> Danilo. Danilo. Okay, Danilo, how are yeah. you? I'm fine. You? I'm very good, thanks. Uh, okay. The start to a week. There's no snow, so I'm happy. Mm. What did you do this weekend? Oh, well, not bad. <laughs> I I described the uh, Polingo. <laughs> I'm here improving my English. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I think. Um, well, how long have you been learning English for? Oh, um, I um, began. Uh, well, I have to say, my English is terrible. I just studied English at school. Mm -hmm. um, not. Um, Never in uh, in the course, but uh, now I'm here in Peru. Uh, improve my improve my Spanish, and uh, it's probably Colingo too. I'd, I'd, I'd like to improve my English too, because I'm so terrible at. Mm. Well, I can tell you this: anytime somebody can read and speak English, yeah. but also understand what I'm saying. 
you're actually a lot better than you think. Part of the frustration that you're probably experiencing is that your English level is probably around a grade one or two level, whereas in your own language you've been doing it for many, many, many years. So a lot of people find that frustrating. So just take your time. You'll get there. These Colingo classes are free. They're 24 hours a day. I teach at least two of them a week. So when you've got some free time, come in here and practice speaking, reading, debating with English speakers such as myself. And we've got some great people in the class. Uh, students, I've uh, some of my regular students are Adolfo, George, Maxi, uh, and Luis. So you know, welcome. And Chris, it's been a while. How are you, Chris? Hello. Hi, how was your weekend, Chris? Mm, it was uh, a little bit hard. A little bit hard. What happened? Yeah. Did you take a test? Mm, yes, for, for this week. Ah, so you're the second person who's taken a test. Yes, I uh, I read a lot of therapy books. Well, I, I'm glad to see I didn't have to take a test this weekend. I did get to see a magician though, which was kind of interesting. So that's always fun. I want to, for you guys that are new to the class, I want to show you something. We have a Facebook page. I'm going to type it in the chat window. Uh, also, the other chat window we have is the Colingo chat window. Let me paste it in there. Um, it's our Facebook page. You can talk to other students, uh, teachers as well, and you can find out about upcoming classes. So that's very useful. Antonio, how are you? How are you? Fine, I'm very thank well, you. Thanks. Uh, where, where are you uh, joining us from today, Antonio? My English is um, so so. Um, Colingo is new experience and reading English. Okay, so you are new to speaking English then. Um, for those of you where your English is, you're new to English, please make use of the chat. Yes, in New English, my English is basic and I will new vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Okay, well what, Antonio, look at my screen here. You'll see a chat here and a chat here. Um, I recommend following along. I will do some typing in the chat area. Okay, but what I want you guys to do right now, or actually, let me just talk to Andres first. I haven't introduced myself to Andres. Andres, how are you? Fine, and you? Very well, thanks, Andres. You sound like you've been speaking English for some time. Uh, I have been studying English for so many years, but really, I haven't learned so much. So much. Okay, well, I'm going to go into the lesson now. I usually like to take the first five or ten minutes to have some small talk and relax and I also want those of you that are new to understand that relax take your time don't worry if you're not saying it right the main thing is that you're here and you try and you learn we've got people here that have been speaking English for many years those of you that are new this is a beginner class so I'll focus more on those of you that are new all I ask from you guys is that if you do have any noise in your background, people in the background, cars, whatever, go ahead and mute your connection. If you don't, I or somebody else in the class might mute you. It's not meant as an insult. It's just because this is an internet class and if there's noise, we all can't hear each other. If you do mute yourself and you want to speak to us, again, in the top right, 
you press the same mute microphone button and you'll be able to speak again. What I would like everybody to do right now is over here look for Google Drive. For me it's a recent app so I'll see it here. If not go down to here and add Google Drive. Okay and I want you to open a document that says reading skills. I'm going to turn off screen share now Don't. so you guys can see me. Okay, I see those of you asking for access. Okay, there's more of you. Is everybody in the document reading skills? Yes. If you are not, please say no in the chat window or say no and uh, I'll help you. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a very, very simple short paragraph let me paste it in here okay let's try that again doesn't seem to want to paste copy ah here we go okay Adolfo I would like you to start uh, read the title and the entire paragraph. If you have any trouble with any words, let me know. Okay. Or pause and I'll help you with the word. Okay? Okay. Um, what's in a box? There are boxes on the floor. She opens a box. There are books in the box. She takes out the books. She puts the books on the bookshelf. She opens another box. There are plates in the box. She takes out the plates. She puts them in the kitchen cabinet. Okay, very good. Uh, you did a great job with all the words. One word I heard is books. Uh, you had a different type of O sound. It's, uh, most people will say books. So the word books is pronounced books. Okay. 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 The next one. And for some of you, these might be really easy. Um, after we've done this exercise, I have some more difficult ones that we can take turns with. Uh, Andres, could you read, he is a daredevil, please? Yes, of course. He is a daredevil. He is a daredevil. He climbs tall buildings. He climbs them with his bare hands. He climbs buildings all over the world. He climbs for fun. He loves to climb. The police love to arrest to arrest to arrest him. They always arrest him at the top of the building. He goes to jail for a day or two. Very good. Um, Again, very good. One word I did hear is climbs. Uh, could you say the word climbs for me, please? Climbs. Very good. Yes, that was the only word uh, that I noticed. Okay. okay. So let me find another one here. Oh, I see somebody's asking for access, so let me just give access here. Okay, good. Um, so next, yeah. Antonio, could you please yeah. read? No. Antonio, could you please read that paragraph? Paragraph? Yes. I don't, I don't see. Okay. No, I don't see. Did you click on Google Drive? Google Drive, see. Okay, and did you open a document that says reading skills? 
I don't... No, I don't see. Okay, well I'm not gonna troubleshoot Google for now, so... Take a look in the chat window, please. Could you read those sentences? Antonio, could you please read the sentences in the chat window? The chat window, no, see. Okay. Uh, okay. I can I can study English. I can English. Okay. Can can you open the chat window, Antonio? I okay. I study English at least three years. I study art by myself. Okay, I understand, Antonio. But I, I, if you can't open the chat window, I, I can't help you. Uh, I can talk to you verbally, but if we're having trouble communicating, I need to use the chat window. Chat window. So the chat window you can get there. Okay. If you look in my window here, uh, chat is right here. Okay. There's one here too, but let's just use this one here. <laughs> when you get into the chat window, could you please type something? Okay, I tell you what, Tony, are you try to f open the chat window when you're there let me know in the meantime I'm gonna go to Chris Chris could you please read the story in uh, the Google document please yes uh, the brain in the sky the brain flies though the sky gas 13 meters for hour and there are two engines and genes have propellers. The genes are under the green. They are in the gondola. The pilots sit in the gondola. The passengers sit there too. The gondola has big windows. The pilots and passengers look out the window. Okay, very good. Now, I heard a few words, Chris. Um, and so let me just re start reading the sentences so you can see or you can hear how they sound. So this sentence here that I'm highlighting, I'm just going to read this one out to you. And once I've read it, I would like you to try it again. So, the blimp flies through the sky. It goes 30 miles per hour. Could you please try that, Chris? The bullet flies through the sky. It goes through 30 30, yeah. 30 minutes per hour. Okay, so the first word here, let's take a look at this word here. That word is through. Through. Okay, so I'm sorry, I'll wait for the noise to die now. Okay, so through, let's try that again. Through. Through, very good, much better, much better. And this word here goes. Goes. Very good. Excellent. And one last word. Miles. Miles. Okay. Much better. So, Chris, would you mind if I asked you to just read those two sentences again, please? No, not at all. Um, the balloon flies through the sky. It goes 30 miles per hour. Wow. That was much better. Great. Excellent. Okay. Now, who is next? Uh, I, I'm going to say your name wrong again, but Danilon? Danilon, yeah. Danilon. Yeah. Yeah, my screen, it's so small at the bottom, I can't tell I's from L's. So, forgive me, Dan Danilon. I'm going to give yeah. you a new one to read. Sorry? Can you repeat I'm this? going to give you a new story to read. Yeah. 
He goes to the lake. Could you read that, please? He goes to the lake. He puts a camera in, into his pocket. He gets on his bicycle. He rides his bike to the lake. He gets off his bike. It is a big lake. He takes he takes the camera out of his pocket. There are ducks on the lake. He takes pictures of the ducks and lake. Very good. Very well done. Chris, I know you're highlighting the text as we go. Uh, I know it helps you follow up, but I might suggest not doing that because if you're reading it, it can be distracting. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I understand uh, you're, tr you're trying to learn, and it's, it's a good technique. I would do it myself. It's just uh, for others reading it, it's, it makes it a little difficult sometimes. Okay, I've got another story here. Uh, there's a spelling mistake. Let me fix that. Okay, and who is next? Gentleman who lives in Brasilia. Very fine gentleman. George. George. If you could, could you please read this? Okay. A laptop in the movie. He opens his laptop. He pushes the button. The computer turn is on. The computer screen lights up. The icons appear on the screen. He clicks on an icon. He goes online. He visits a website. The website is about movies. He reads about a new movie. It is a really scary movie. He calls up his friend. Very good, George. Uh, George, are there any words in that paragraph that you're not... Can you turn on your computer? Mm -hmm. Well, before you turn on your computer, your screen is just black, right? Okay. When you turn it on, you can now see colors, words, pictures. The process of the computer turning on and the screen showing up is the screen lights up. Okay. It's kind of like the screen turns on. Okay, now I got it. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Now I see Antonio is here. That's great. Yeah, yeah. So, Antonio, could you please read this sentence? Oh, I better spell it correctly. That would be bad. There we go. Could you please read that sentence? He opened his laptop. Very good. And this one? He pushed the button. He pushes. Pushes. Very he good. He pushes the button. The computer turns on. Very good. That sentence too, please. The computer screen light up. Excellent. And this one. The icon appear on the screen. The icons appear on the screen. Uh, the icon appears on the screen. Very good. This one too. Click an icon. Okay, and these last ones. He goes online. He visits a website. The website is a website. Okay, Antonio, um, one thing I've noticed is you are very good at enunciating your words, at speaking clearly. So Thank you. you are doing very good there. What I recommend um, is take more classes that are conversation skills and speaking skills because speak, I yeah uh, so speak poor speak poor speak poor and read and write good yeah I, I, I get a sense that you can write well because I, I hear you read you read very well 
because we offer a lot of classes I recommend taking a lot of speaking skills and conversation skills okay all right guys let me just get another document here this one's a little longer unfortunately it's a little boring but you know <laughs> don't worry I'll make it up to you guys we'll have a fun test at the end okay so who is next uh, George you you read and Luis if you could yeah. please read the title and the first paragraph before you do that can anybody tell me what a paragraph is? A paragraph is a group of sentences. Yeah, very good. It's a group of sentences, so this is one paragraph. Uh, that makes sense uh, and have logic. Yes, it, it generally has a co coherent and flowing logic, whereas a sentence is pretty well everything from the beginning to the period. A story is all of this. So, Luis, if you could please go ahead. I, I read the first or the entire test? Uh, the first paragraph, please. Okay. Grab your umbrellas. I looked like a wren. The sky was green. It was almost noon, but the sun has widened by a gray blanket. It was cool. There were no birds flying anywhere. A couple of birds sat on the telephone wire. Bob was standing outside talking to do. They both had their hands in their pockets. They knew that it was probably going to rain shortly. A Sunday breeze blew some leaves off a tree onto the sidewalk. Okay, very good. Any words here? Uh, if anybody here has trouble understanding, or sorry, not understanding, does know, know what a word means, please highlight that word for me now. Okay, if you highlight any words here, I will go. Okay, so very good. So the first word I see is hidden. Uh, you might be familiar with the verb to hide. So here I am, I'm hiding myself. Okay, so hidden means to make something no longer visible. Uh, to give you a dictionary definition, give you an example here. Keep out of sight or concealed. Okay. Blanket. All right. So, blanket is very similar to what you would have on your bed a sheet, for example. Generally, it's a large woolen, not wooden, woolen or similar material used as a bed covering or other covering for warmth. It could be fleece, could be cotton, anything else. A sudden breeze. Okay. Breeze. It, oh, what did I just do? I think I went full screen. So a breeze is simply the wind. It's a light okay. wind. Mm -hmm. And it might just be momentary. Okay, and in this case, a sudden breeze. Blue, well, that's the process of the wind taking the leaves off the tree and moving them. The wind okay. blew the leaves. Okay. All right. Uh, now, Luis, I heard a couple of words, and I just want to say these with you. Mm -hmm. I heard two words, it and hidden. Could you say those for me, please? It, hidden. 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 Very good. Yeah, the Ds are a very hard sound in this word, hidden. 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 If you listen to English speakers, they may not always do that, but when you're learning, generally words that have D, T, R, they're hard sounding or ALK for example walk, shortly, that. Most people will say that but you want to emphasize as you're learning. 
Okay, the next paragraph. Let me just make sure. Yep, the next paragraph starts with a young woman and Maxiliano. Could you please read that, please? Call me Maxi, please. <laughs> okay, Maxi. Thank you. Um, a young woman wearing a dark blue coat and jeans walked by. She was walking a, a small dog. It was pure white and pretty. It sniffed and Sniffed? a and a tree trunk. The woman, the woman, uh, oh, what happened? Sorry. And uh, the woman uh, waited uh, patiently. Finally, the dog uh, lifted its leg. Okay. Very good. Uh, pronunciation, for the most part, is very, very good. I did hear a couple of words I'd like to help you with. Okay. Uh, so. Let's see. I'll read the whole sentence and then I'll let you read it. So, it sniffed at a tree trunk. It, it sniffed at a tree trunk. Sniffed. Sniffed. Yeah, you're, I know F is not that, necessary, that, that easy here, but it's focusing on the F. Sniffed. Sniffed. It's sniffed. Very good. Great. It has nest a tree trunk. And the last sentence, I'm going to focus on the word lifted. Finally, the dog lifted its leg. Finally, the dog lifted its leg. Its, its, its leg. Very good. Uh, just a little test for you guys here. What is the difference between these two words here? And the first one is um, uh, possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun. Yeah. Personal and the pronoun. second possessive. one is um, second um, It is uh, or it has. It's the third person of the. the well, first good. So is for possession. I, I hear a lot of people say possessive. So that means just like. Um, well, in, in, in this example here, it's a contraction. It's it uses its as a possessive. Now, if I was going to say it is, I would shorten that to its. Okay, yeah. that tricks a lot of people. Okay, let's go to the next paragraph. I see we've lost a few people. Not sure if this is too boring, but I'll make it interesting in a little bit. Uh, let's see, we've done Maxi, and now Adolfo, could you read that, please? The highlighted paragraph. Oh, okay. Okay. Bob said that he liked the rain. It was a nice change from the usual hot Los Angeles weather, and the plants could always use the extra water. Bill said the only thing he didn't like about rain was that all the motor oil on the streets would get washed into the ocean, and so would all the trash. Adolfo, I, I can't find any fault with what you said. Very good. Although I'll ask you and anybody else, are there any words in this paragraph you'd like me to help you with? Definitions, meaning? Go ahead and double click on a word if you would like help with it. Trash. 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 Can somebody help? What does trash mean? Garbage. Garbage. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Refuse. Very few no. people use that word. It's kind of a. Um, no. Not really. No. No. Those were are different kinds of words. Um, trash. Trash. Garbage. Simon, can yes. you wait for a moment? Please? Sorry. Can you wait me a moment? Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing. I just had to mute somebody. Uh, what were you saying, Andres? 
can you can you wait me a moment? There we go. Yeah, and by the way, if you guys need to mute yourself, you can do so in the top right of the screen. So trash is garbage. What you're probably thinking of is trash talk. It's very different. Uh, trash just means garbage. So when you have garbage at home, you put it in the garbage bin, you take it outside, that's also called trash. Okay. Trash is a... Uh, um, wash. Oh. Well, it's anything that's discarded, thrown away. Uh, wasted. Unfortunately, oh, West sorry, I uh, was typing in the wrong place. Like a Try wasted. Again. Yeah, wasted, thrown away discarded. Unfortunately, in helping define this word, I'm using more complex words. All right. Um, I think Andres is on the phone, so let me go to Chris. Chris, could you read that last paragraph, please? Oh, and guys, try to avoid moving the uh, document. Uh, let me get down there. Okay, so here we go. If you could read the highlighted paragraph, please. But yeah, okay. But that never stopped the suffer. Bob said they don't seem to care what's in the water, as long as there are waves to surf on. Okay, very good. Um, but that never stops the surfers. The word I heard is surfers. Could you just say that word for me one more time, please, Chris? But that never stop the surfers. Sir, sir. So think of it this way, like this, say, say sir. Sir. Okay, now say sir and this word here, furs. Surfers. Okay, so that's how you say the word surfers. Surfers. Very good. Okay, we're going to do a few more minutes and then we're going to have a quick little test. I have a new story here. And Daniel Yon, if you could please read that paragraph. Daniel? Daniel, thank you. Okay, yes. Yeah. Going to Asia? Correct. Correct? Okay. Liz was excited. She was going to Asia with her mom. Neither of them had ever traveled out of the United States before. They were going to fly to Hong Kong. After staying in Hong Kong for three nights, they would travel on their cruise ship to Shanghai and Beijing. Very good, then. Yeah. Very good. Sorry. Okay. Now, I, a few things I heard. I noticed if you're, well, these are the three words I heard, but going and staying. Um, I noticed that you seen, you're pronouncing words with ing a little differently. What we would say is going, staying. So try that, going, staying. Okay, now say them a little quicker, going, staying. Very good. All right. Julio, can you hear me? Okay, Luis. Yes. Oh, Julio. Uh, Julio, if you can go into Google Drive, I have a document there called Reading Skills. Could you please open that? In the meantime, Luis, could you read that highlighted paragraph, please? Highlight, yes. <clears throat> Beijing is island. So we have to take about two hours but ride to get there from the port. I forget the name of the port. Anyway, we are going to see the Great Wall, the Tainanmen Square, and the Forbidden City. 
It's going to be so cool, she told her neighbor, Jen. Okay, good. All right, a couple of things, Luis. This word here, uh, that word is inland, so Beijing mm -hmm. is inland. Inland. Mm -hmm. Inland, very good. And what this word, mean? inland, um, as opposed to being on the coast. It's mm -hmm. inland, um, literally. Okay, okay. So it's within the country on the interior. Okay. If the city was, let's say, San Francisco or Rio, we would say it's a coastal city. Mm. As opposed to an inland city. Now this here, I am not surprised you guys might have trouble with this word. It's pronounced Tiananmen Square. Tiananmen mm. Square. Yeah. Okay. Now I see we've lost George somewhere along the way. But Luis, can you tell me what time it is? <laughs> now it's time to play a game. Yes. I called it a test earlier, but it's actually a game. What I thought we would do, Luis, is uh, do Hangman. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some more. Well, actually, could you describe uh, to the class what the rules are? Take your time, and what I'll do is I'll get the board ready. Yes. Hangman is a game that the teacher put in the board space blanks. Maybe create a sentence or, or a word, and you have to guess what letters is the sentence or the word. If you make a mistake, the teacher was draw parts of the body of the hangman. And that's very, very, very bad. So I'll take this guy here and he'll go up here. We don't want that. So what you want to think of is you got to think English. What are the popular letters? Okay. A I E. Very good. So vowels. Vowels. A I E O U. And sometimes. Sometimes W. Nope. Sometimes Y. Ah, uh, Y. Very good. However, you must ask in the form of a question. If you just shout out A. I won't fill it out for you. What you must say is, can I have the letter? Or could I have a vowel? All right. So, let's see, who can I start with? I'm going to ask Adolfo. If, Adolfo, could you go first, please? OK. Can I have the letter E? <laughs> yes. We have the letter E. Okay, so that's a good start. Let me just check. I see there is one E and one E only. There are two words in this phrase. Andres. Maybe O. And O. Refreshed. <laughs> Andres, are you sure you want an O? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe okay. B. A D. I heard a D. Is that correct? D. D. <laughs> That's correct. There is one D. <clears throat> Chris. Can I go? Uh... U? A U. U. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no U. So we're, if you've guessed wrong, I put the 
wrong letter up here so you know it's been said. That's okay, we have plenty of chances, but you know what? I want to help you out. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what's not in this. A couple of letters that aren't here. No, there's that one. There is no X. There is no Y. There is no O. And there is no B or P. Okay, so who is next now? Uh, let me see if I say this right. Daniel? Daniel, yeah, Daniel. Closer, I'm getting there. Yeah, Daniel. Oh, maybe uh, A. In the form of a question, please. Sorry? Could uh, you ask? Uh, can I have, um, can you have um, A? There is one A. One A. Very good. Oh, okay. oh, let me see. I see somebody chatting. Let me just see what's in the chat. Oh, you see you guys are having a chat. Okay, I'll go back to the sound effects area. And we just... Okay, so next is uh, Julio. If you could ask in the form of a question for a letter, please. Uh, yes. Can, so uh, if you could ask in the form of a question, can I have the letter, for example? Mm. Mm. So if you could say or repeat after me, can I have the letter S? Uh, um, mm. S. Okay. The letter S. <laughs> I like the letter S. <laughs> but it's not always there. Very good. There are two S's. Keep in mind, this is a phrase that everybody is familiar with who has taken the class so far today. All of you are aware of it. So, Luis, how are you, my friend? Can I have the letter I? I. Well... Luis is right down to business. No small talk. The letter I. Very good. Maxi. Clean skills. skills. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Okay, I want to draw your attention to a pattern here. This ending, ing. Ing. When you're playing Hangman, the thing to get to think of is the endings of words. If you see an I, and you see it three places away, chances are it could be ing. Then you can guess an n and a g. If you see, think of endings that have ed. Okay, or er. All right, so now I got to think something a little different here. Maybe something a little tricky. You guys did very well that time. You only got one wrong, and that was the U. All right, five, two, four. So this one's got three words in it. Just to let you know, guys, if you're typing, uh, it does come across quite loud. So if you could type quietly, if you can, it actually sounds like thunder in the class. Okay, I have a new phrase. One word, 
Second word and the third word. So, Maximilian, or Maxi guessed it last time, so I'll go right to Adolfo. Adolfo, it's your turn. Can I have the letter O? Can I have the letter O? I think Adolfo's onto something here. I think he knows what it is already. One O. Only one O? Oh, you guys know, don't you? <laughs> now, there is two O's okay. in this phrase. Andres is not at his desk. Okay, so we jump to Chris. Chris, it is your turn. <laughs> Chris? All right. Danilon. Yeah. Uh, can I have um, letter um, oh, N? Letter N. Yeah. Oh, God. George, is this a good one? Ah, well, if George says it's okay, you know it must be okay. <laughs> Welcome back, George. Very good. There is one N. Just one? <laughs> you really want another one? Because I might have... No? <laughs> 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 no, sadly, there is no other ends. So, George, timely, you're next in line. George, could you take a guess for us, please? Okay, so can I have the letter E? Oh, George. Oh my god. <laughs> my favorite letter next to the S. <laughs> okay there. Okay. okay. <laughs> Let's this is we don't want George to cry now. <laughs> uh, Julio, it is your turn. I had to mute you earlier because we had a lot of noise, so you might need to unmute yourself. It is your turn to guess. Can I have the letter C? Can I have the letter C? Oh. Sorry, I mean, I hate doing this. Think again, what are the most popular, like right down here, there's no vowels, so think what other vowels are there out there? Go for the easy ones first. A C, that's not a very popular letter. So, mm -hmm. Luis, hello again. Can I have letter A? The letter A, Daniela's favorite letter. Yes. <laughs> Only one? No, sir, there are two A's. This word has a, an A at the beginning and the end. Maxi. Yes. Um, can I have the, the letter D? Very smart. When you see two-letter words, it's very limited to what they can be. If you guess an O, chances are it could be of, to, or something similar. So there is a T there. There is only one T. I'll give you a hint. This word here has the same letter at the beginning and the end. So, Adolfo, sir, it's your turn. Oh, yeah. I know the phrase. Uh oh. It's going to Asia. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> staring at the screen too long. So, very good. And once again, notice. We had the N there, right? So pretty good chance you would have an I or guess a G. And here, whenever you have two-letter words, you're kind of limited to what they can be. It could be 
to to or of at of on at to on and an eight but no in yeah in in eight it it have you noticed something of a pattern here? There's a T here, a T here, a T here. There are N's. Yeah. N's are very popular. Same with the vowels. We've got an O here and an O here. So whenever you see a two-letter word by itself, it's pretty good to guess an O, a T, or an N. If you see one, well, it's I or A. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's a good idea. Now, we are coming up to the end of today's class. But what I would like to do, instead of just concluding, I want to make sure everybody's aware, again, as I introduced at the beginning of the class, of the Facebook site. That's the link there. Go ahead and become a member if you like. You can find out more about the classes that are offered, talk to other students, and even some teachers. I also have a Google Plus site, so you're welcome to add me there as well. I teach classes twice a week. Normally, during the week, they're at the same time, 6 and 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, which is very similar to um, um, 7 and um, 9 o'clock South American Time for most countries. Today, I am doing a listening skills class in an hour. It's intermediate, so if you're a beginner, uh, this one here depends. So, for example, let's see, one gentleman in the class, if I remember correctly, uh, I think he's gone now. No, he's gone. It would have been good for him to come. Essentially, what I will do is I will read certain things, and then I'll ask you guys to write down what I said. Or I'll read out a sentence or an interview, and I'll ask you guys questions about it. So it's all it's important that you actually understand what I'm saying to some degree, but it's also important that you hear exactly what I'm saying. All right, so we'll do that in an hour. I'll also do a bit of a game. Uh, I always like to have a bit of a game at the end of the class, so that way it makes it fun. It helps. Uh, solidify some of what we're doing, but it also gets you to ask questions. And you're looking forward to asking questions instead of being forced to ask questions. So I'll be doing that in an hour. I'd like to say thank